free consultation. Welcome back. I'm over here. If you're done buying the big holiday gifts and are now searching for fun stocking stuffers, gardening guru Cisco Morris has ideas. Come on out, Cisco. Here I'm comes doing the samba. The samba because we had Brazilian music. <laughs> I'm with you. How are you? I am fantastic. Merry Christmas to you and Mary um, and the entire clan, the, the Morris clan. <laughs> so um, you have some stocking stuffers yep. here for us, but you also brought back your Christmas well, cactus. I did that because the first two stocking stuffers if you were hanging that stocking up to be like oh, look, that. There's a little hedgehog. And look at this. Hangs on the plant. Is that cute or that what? That is really cute. And you could use that outside or on a porch or yep, anywhere you wanted. Anywhere. Where'd you get this? Uh, that actually hedgehog. came from England, but you might oh, find thanks. one. Oh, thanks. We'll just go to England and buy it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this one came from an art show I I, called that. Sorta Culture, and isn't it cool? That is really so. cool. That's nice glass art. Will that survive in the elements? We're okay to you put that leave outside? You that outside, no problem at all. That would survive. Okay. There, you know, are some, okay, you got to look in there. So think how exciting this would be on Christmas I'm morning. Just, you get up and I'm losing my mind. There, you know? I actually like the stocking things best because you totally don't know what's you know, in your stocking. You know, that's the thing. It's so fun. Or you shouldn't know what's in your stocking. Oh, a slug. <laughs> But I don't have to worry about this one. <laughs> it's no, that's a, a, it's nice a piece of slug. glass art. Isn't that pretty? That oh. is very pretty. Where'd you get this? Uh, that came from Ravenna Garden Store. Oh, good. It didn't come yeah, from that a foreign one, country. That's but, good. But, but I bought it 10 years ago. So. <laughs> but it's an idea because all idea. the garden, uh, the, yep. the garden stores, all the garden stores, <laughs> they will all have, have things really like neat that. things. So, and that looks so cool on a container yeah. outside or with a cactus. Or it's really pretty. Okay. I can't Let's remember what's see. in here. Oh, oh my God. That's a Christmas <laughs> ornament. <laughs> I really like this. Isn't I love it the cute? ornaments. It's handmade too. Wow. Well, Came uh, from can the I ask? Bellevue Botanical Garden. Which is a wonderful place to visit this time of year. Yeah. And they have cool gifts, don't they? They have really a great gift store. That's a, actually, so. that's a really good suggestion for where to go to get something unusual yeah. for gardeners. Or frankly, anybody would like this I stuff. Named you don't that have to one be a, Elmer. Elmer. <laughs> Very good. That's weird, but that's okay. Um, that's cool. Um, oh my gosh, there's a theme developing. There is a theme there here. A theme. And, uh, that was handmade by an artist. It's actually signed on the bottom. I was just noticing but that. I did. I did bring that one home from I think France. From France. Right. So when you're traveling, you can look for fun little things that you'll be able to. We put got ten in. days before Christmas. <laughs> well, next year. Okay. There's always next this is year. planning ahead. But but seriously, we can find yeah, these things here but too. That but that's is such beautiful. a little cutie. I just. So you Love collect it. when you try. Oh, look! You did. You did ribbon on this one. Yeah. Very nice. Must be something special in there. Must be. Let's see what we've got. Whoa! So, I don't throw it so on the I floor. So I love glass bugs. Yeah. And these, I put. These came from the Bellevue Botanical Garden. Art in the garden. Uh, they yeah. have where they have all kinds of artists come, and I put these in my container gardens crown over a stone in there. Whoa! La, la. <laughs> <laughs> it might like bite. It. it looks really very harmless and very attractive. Really I'm getting the, the, the feeling that you like the color. I, I, like the I color. love color in the garden. Just yeah. love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Whatever is this? <laughs> I just think that's the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I love the way you get excited about this stuff. It's just the best thing in the whole wide world. I love that one. And you know what? That you could put nice. you could put that in the garden or put it someplace oh, yeah. else. It's just a beautiful yep, piece I of glass art. I put it on art. stones in my garden, and the kids always spot it right away. That's a good idea. Really fun. That's a good idea. Is there more? There's oh, yeah, more. There's still oh, my a gosh. lot in there. Um, <laughs> Those are really slimy, and you can stick them on anything. So you yep. could stick it on your partner's windshield. Yeah, you know, super. lots of fun That'd things. That'd be great. Just totally freak them out. Actually, that would be funny. Yeah, I they, like that they idea. really are slimy. If I'd have taken them out when you reached in there, you'd have been like, ah! so If you hear somebody screaming out in the garage, you'll know they found your your phony banana slug <laughs> stuck to their window. Hey. Um, oh. Everybody needs a cool yes. gargoyle. I keep this one uh, next to my computer for inspiration. That's actually, I love this. Isn't that the coolest Put one you ever saw? Put it on top of saw? some books. Or, yeah, have it by your desk as a sort of a spirit guide. This came guide. from a gargoyle store in the U District. There's, <laughs> oh, so many I didn't 
have another one such a thing. And oh, here, what everyone that, needs. Now that is true inspiration. An right Oscar there. Meyer Wiener mobile. Yeah, you have to have one of those Car in the thing. Garden. That gets more attention what in my garden happening? than all my plants. Somebody help us. We don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> something, oh, large got, amounts now, of Brussels sprouts. If you, you want to make your partner really happy, you got to give them something really great. These little love nibbles here are the thing. The love nibbles. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I refer to Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Uh, Has anyone ever loved Brussels but, sprouts more than Cisco Morris? But if, no. if your partner doesn't like them, I guarantee <gasps> you better put some chocolate in there too. You've actually hit my very favorite oh, thing. Oh, those are, those are peppermints, but I like the, the dark chocolate, caramel, like, salted oh, yeah, yumminess. The That's, oh, they're yeah. all so good. And this, even this one's a local chocolate maker. Theos, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool I too. tried to go local. And it's organic, so, so that. So I think this is the grand finale. So you save the best, and this one is definitely for you. Oh, it is? So, yep. Well. So you gotta. Uh, <laughs> If you can do Wait it. just one moment. I'm going to have to explain to people oh what this goodness. is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is this really for me? I'm going to wear is this for you. so much. So this is a Gardening with Cisco t-shirt and I never sell them. I have them made. Mary designed them and I, I give one it. away at all my talks. Just one away at every and talk. And I get one? Yep. That's and, amazing. And the Brussels sprout in the middle, all those flags around it are all the flags of Europe. The writing is how they say Brussels sprout in every country. This so. is something no one else will know if I, if, and on the back it says. Oh la la. Yes. Thank you so much. That's the best Christmas present ever. Thank you so much. There you have it, everyone. Those are Cisco's suggestions. After the break, sweet and savory and vegan friendly dishes to serve.